All right, I've got the Naga and I've got the Druid to play. Let's see what they're all about. So there's a Druid right there, but let's play the Naga first, so I want him first. Naga, Terror of a Desert. You are hated by all. Use poison and desert cunning to survive. You are naturally mounted. So this hero has advanced attack that takes effect with whiff without a weapon. Any target they hit, uh, they land a hit on is poisoned. So this is basically a venomous hero, so basically just hit stuff and just run away from if you want to. You have a big tummy. This hero has a big tummy. Food can heal them to one heart more than their maximum hearts. Resting does not have a similar effect. I resist heat, so this hero is immune to damage from staying in the heat for too long. Use this to your advantage by luring enemies into the desert. Fire still does damage. I'm naturally mounted, so... It is what it is, I can't mount stuff and wearing armor base reduces my ability to do stuff, but that's fine. I'm not sure the natural mount is like too bad for the Naga because you don't really have to worry about armor that much for this guy, I don't think, so that's fine. Carnivore! Can I eat any vegan foods? This includes bread as well as fruits and vegetables. So carnivore is basically one of the few, uh, you know, the few like, you know, heroes that basically can't eat bread. But I can eat like eggs and meat, so that's fine. I'm a climber, so I can climb over mountains and, you know, get on top of them very easily. I'm ugly, so humans don't like me. All I can say about it. I'm hated, so stores raise their prices by one. And I'm primitive. This is a hero that I can't use tools. I do have put um, the automatic venomous attack, though, so I automatically have, like, you know, poison, but, you know, it sucks not having tools, but well. But a soft swath of sifting sand spoke Serpent's Lady's Wake. With supreme resolve, she wove ahead for the fifth Unfliction Day. Eggs, mate, survival, every moment born of necessity. Long had her people hissed prayers for her dark underworld gods for protection from the soft cunning of creatures outside the desert. The time of prayer was over. Action was at hand. Fastest win, three minutes. And there's my, like, you know, plays and losses. Let's get to the Naga then. Alright, let's play him. Alright, so. There's Desert. Maze holds great treasure. Let's go to the Maze, I guess. And yeah, there's basically, like, you know, that guy there popping out, I guess. Poison him. Now, this is where it's like usually like run away, so let's do that a little bit. And unfortunately, I can't run any further, so that's unfortunate. We'll just get up here. Uh. He's gonna die in the desert, right? So. There we go. Hope I can't eat anything. Right. But yeah, I know that we can basically see in the desert here about, like, you know, heating up, so that's nice. There was that seal. Alright, pick up a ball of yarn. And the monster's right there. There's some coins for my trouble. And the is like down here now. Hello. Poison. We'll take some damage from this.
That's perfect. Down he goes. We'll take that key. Yeah, I know the unhappy face with the boots, I can't use them, because, you know, I'm primitive. There's the treasure. I can't use it because it's an abacus. Now, I'll note that this is one of the characters that I think might be a benefit from being amphibious, because even though like these are like, you know, desert type creatures, they they're all they are technically like sort of snake creatures, so they could basically like, you know, be turned to amphibious ones as well. But whatever. Oh that figures I ran into a crab. Let's poison him. He's dead. My luck really sucks, apparently. Hmm. I'm trying to think here. Let's poison him. Down he goes. Unfortunately, I don't have the coin to buy a, uh, you know, a pickaxe, but well. That's nice, useless, but whatever. Down you go. The magic food is here somewhere. Let's go find it. Perfect, down I go. Perfect, down I go. That'd be another thing that'd be nice about this guy if like he wasn't like, you know, it'll be poisoned, but whatever. There's a key, that's useful. Bam. Ow. There's garlic. I can eat garlic apparently. There's the flute. You die. Note they have armor, so you know, that's hurting me like because I can't be mounted in water anymore, but whatever. I'm tempted to fight this guy, why not? Hmm. Why not? Let's just go for a whole lot of defense. There's gonna be water to get this across here, but whatever. Yeah, no, basically, like, you know, because I'm, like, you know, naturally mounted, I don't benefit from this very much, but whatever. Perfect, there's a sewer of the world. There's a scroll. Can't hurt me. There's nothing in here really bad for me, so out we go. There's a charm scroll. Made it my friends lost the sea. Not useful. Drop this here. And drop that there. I get swallowed, that's fine. You can die. Oh, this is poor. I'm gonna die here, unfortunately. Oh well, I lost to a Python because it basically, like, the annual was hidden and it ambushed me.
Well, let's try again. I see the temple, find it. No one came out of that, you know, hut, that's nice. Uh, let's poison him. So I'll take my diary, that's fine, I can hit him again. Keep searching. That works for me, I think. So let's just show off the um the gusto gusto thing here. I can basically do this, and now I basically have like four hearts as opposed to like you know three. Let's go down. I was close, I can feel it. Welcome to molding it hostile to that, by the way. This is where we usually have like the glasses basically to like sort of see hidden things, but oh well. Ow. Again, I can't use fruit, so... I could use that club, but it's not that beneficial, so whatever. There's the temple. Utah says ended, take a reward. A reward I can't use, because, you know, why not? Garlic. Uh, poison him. Why not? That works for me. This is a very small level here, but whatever. They're all gonna scroll home. We'll use that to get out of here. Alright, I just need to get one more quest done. Well, I'm not gonna use that bed now, am I? Blacksmith. Damn, no weapon in here to basic pick, which is like not great. Oh well. And this is where things get annoying. Because everything wants to kill me now. I'm dead. I don't think I have a way of living for this, unfortunately. Especially since there's now a badger up there. Yeah, I find this is like a typical thing like this, like, you know, this character. Unless you have deserts to basically like, manipulate. Oh, deserts, how nice. My food is lost in the castle. You can die. You can die. Alright, here we go. Nice food is somewhere. Your quest is to find it.
the You can die. He died, very nice. I like that bomb. Now I wish I had that garlic again, but oh well. Uh, let's set the bomb. The bomb explodes. We'll die immediately, so let's die, please. Ooh, Shatiki. Delicious. You can die. There's magic flutes. And there we go. On my way out. There's my award, which is through the rule of the world. And there's a fan. Alright, someone in the house is fussing loudly. Chase me! Die. Poison him. Well, there's a little adventure from by myself. And of course, a thief comes out to play. Alright, so, ooh. this would be useful if I don't get hit, that's useful, eh, whatever, let's get going, my grandson won't come down, go check on him, so, beetle, bat, bug, let's kill the bird, He's going for that egg, of course, because he wants to eat the egg, but whatever. Let's go up. Go up, go him. I do get stunned using the hammer, but it's basically very useful because... I essentially am able to, um, you know, stun stuff and, like, poison it. Oh, it's not a good room. There's a big cat. Figures. Why did everything else decide to get invisible there? Alright, well, no thanks. Let's just try the impossible win. Are you feeling on the, like, you know, expert? Take me to see Freddy. To get there, we must cross the vast desert. I'm okay with this. Figures. Uh, I can't use trinkets, so... He's still here. Alright, perfect. We get some hides that'll be useful to protect myself with. Selling me at home. Heal 
Yo, I'm tempted to go in here and see if I get a better weapon for the chest now, so. Well, I'll take the hammer, why not? But now's no time to lay about. I guess we can't sleep for like maximum hearts for this character. You have a weapon, let me see that. And there's a bear, because why not? Uh, let's go here. We'll go here. Wasn't a bear. Good, he died. Well, at least I have my dagger to work with here. Push us up, bring us back. I'm gonna ditch this here, I think. Because the highs actually hurt me more than they are helping me. Let's poison you this for the heck of it. You up. Hit you. Hit you again. One. Two. That'll do nicely. Goodbye. Well, I got the highs again, I guess, but that's fine. Oh, I got myself a pickaxe. I'll find a weapon for you. Good luck on your quest. Gatekeeper's right there, so... Let's go up here. Let's go here. Oh, he's trying to come to attack me, I guess. That works for me. Beast attack. Okay. Beat me out of town. Oh, that's not good to find. Uh... There we go, he died. I figure there's a Neanderthal that I'll deal with. Alright, some villagers are saved. Now I get to escape. Place this here. He can die. He can die. It's gonna be funny that I get the impossible win before the expert, but whatever, it's fine. At least I gotta win. Uh, nothing in here really benefits me, so off I go. And there you go, the gatekeeper stands sound tall and sound. So definitely one of the hard characters to play, the, uh, you know, the Naga. Hey, look at that, I got myself a time of 4 minutes and 56 seconds there. Turns taking 155, that might be a high score for me. Gold hoop. Don't know if it'll, up if it'll update that fast, but let's see. Let's go... Best times. So, I have what, below 5 minutes I guess, so I should have a better time than like, you know, my halfling there. I won't have a better time my zombie though. Alright, let's just uh, try it one more time on expert I guess.
Avoid visit our own town. A treasure hunt. Your first clues to the southeast. Nope, by the way, I think you fixed it, the developer, so the signs always basically now appear after you basically do, like, you know, talk to the villager. So southwest, right down there. Northwest. I got a scroll. Peace attack, okay. Talk to you. Go to the screens. Go to the screens again. Ooh, a sword. Open our screen. You can die. Some of those are saved. We'll take this. Note the gatekeeper's all the way back there, so what I'm probably gonna do is just keep venturing away from the gatekeeper and let's go for a you know Guan Yin teleport. Or I don't get benefit from this, do I? Let's go up here. Mushroom. The mushroom tastes funny, the wall starts to bleed. There's an octopus here, apparently. Uh, that's not fun to find. I'm not figures of finding the NFL right now. Alright, let's see here. Um, I'll go in here. Come out to play. Bam. Price for help when it doesn't win. And he's dead. Yep, that figures. You can die. A shovel. We'll go this way, I guess. Perfect. You get lots of garlic on this character, I guess, because that's basically all you can eat, besides meat. Alright, the bush is saved. There's a fine pan for my trouble. We'll take this. There's a cog salesman. Hi, Guan Yin. Take me home, please. Oh yeah, not naturally not a right, so you can take scrolls in the water. People come and go. Alright, well, there's the expert win basically done. I'm kinda of surprised that it took like took a few more tries in the samurai thing to basically do, but not really. But whatever. Hope you guys basically enjoyed that and take care.